Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2, and it reads, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash, next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. Shalom to the 144, elect men, the prophets, is teaching. Peace and blessings to the small remnant, the rest of the one third elect. Shalom, shalom, shalom. When the righteous are in authority, that's, that's why these heathens need to go into captivity, straight up. Starting off with sleazy E. Then we're going to rejoice. We're not going to rejoice until this devil goes down. Point blank, period. Point blank, period. The earth is going to be in this um, chaotic state until this devil get taken out of power. That's why it's going to be a beautiful thing to see all these heathens go ahead for us in the captivity. That, that's the thoughts that the Lord is putting in my head this morning. Straight up. He that leave in the captivity shall go. So, so get your get your rulership on. It's almost over. The Lord gave you a crappy deal anyway. Gave you a system that's corrupt, that's defiled, decaying by the second. No morals. Look, just look at this system. It's going down. This this is what happens when the wicked rule the earth. Look, look at the state of the earth. This is what happens when a wicked nation of people rules it. Damn, damn, everything is mourning. M mentioned that yesterday through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai on the live stream that I did yesterday. Everything is mourning. It's going to be a beautiful thing to see these heathens go ahead for us in the captivity. Can't say that enough. Straight up. The Lord going to get rid of two thirds of these grimy ninjas. The world going to be a better place once the Lord get rid of two thirds, man. Destroy Babylon the Great. And put you heathens in the captivity starting off with your elites. But let's get this one more time. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are on authority, the people rejoice. You can't rejoice when, when, you, when, you, when you got nothing with damn crooks ruling the earth. You got a, you got a damn thief ruling the earth. You got, you, got a, you got psychopaths ruling the earth. Damn Norman Bates, damn Ted Bundy. Damn Michael Myers. Damn Jason. Freddy. Ruling the earth. You got serial deleters. Ruling the earth. And you trying to figure out why you mourning. Damn fake ass election. Damn everything is fake. That's how you, that's how you know we at the end of it. Because shit back in the 70s or the 80s. At least they did have some. I mean they was devils. But at least you did have some type of uh, candidates. That you could so called believe in. I mean, you couldn't really believe him, but y'all understand what I'm saying. But these characters that they got now, hogwash, right? I just said, Malarkey, Malarkey. They're pulling people out of the grave, you know what I'm saying? Pulling people out of the damn casket, you know what I'm saying? Put them in front of a podium, tell them, um, um, vote for me. I'm going to make your life better. What is the scripture saying? Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, their people rejoice. See, ain't nobody taking heed to what the scriptures are saying. The wicked is ruling. You're never going to rejoice, period. Period. Nothing's going to rejoice. Period. But when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. When the righteous are in authority, you rejoice. When the wicked rule, you mourn. Period. That's why it's going to be a beautiful, you damn right, it's going to be a beautiful thing to see them go ahead first in the captivity. To see the fall of your enemy. Matter of fact, let's just get that right quick. Let's just get it. So, Rock. Look at Sirach 25. Let's just get that right quick. Sirach 25. And 7. You, you think we ain't going to read y'all? Are you, are you serious? Everyone wants to see the downfall of their enemy. Everyone wants to see their enemy really, really get it. Someone really sock it to them. 
Who don't want to see that? Who in their right mind don't want to see their enemy go down? Something wrong with you if you don't want to see your enemy go down. We want to see the Lord really sock it to this devil, man. Really sock it to him. I ain't brought that word out in a while, but let's go. So rock chapter 25, verse 7. And if you ain't thinking in that way, there's something wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with us. We thinking how the Lord thinking. The Lord has given us his mind, his way of thinking. So whatever the Lord loves, we love. Whatever the Lord hates, we hate. Yeah, the Lord loves and he hates. He ain't just one way. Perfect balance. Sirach chapter 25, verse 7. Just something quick about to head out and get this daily bread. Oh, almost closer. 144 just came on the screen with the 8. Lord speaking, man. Sirach chapter 25, verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, which we can't do because we're working all the time. And the damn woman, you know what I'm saying? As soon as the baby come out, then sign it over to the damn government. Like she's smart. This, this, this whole shit hole is about to be done. The Lord about to flush the toilet, man. The Lord about to flush this damn toilet, man. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. What part? And this is in the Bible. This is in the B I B L E, which is just a book for me, for we, the Israelites. The Lord said, "Yeah, yeah, I, I want you to rejoice at the fall of your enemy." This is what the Lord wants, man, and we want it too. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. He that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm going to try to say that all day. I'm going to think about that all day. Which I do anyway. Which I do anyway. Second Thessalonians. Chapter 1. This is something quick, man. Just think about it. So, so when I woke up, the Lord said the downfall of your enemy. One day closer, the downfall of your enemy. One day closer, all of them, man. All of them. Them dot head, you know what I'm saying? Them dot head East Indians, they going down. Uh, the musty um, armpits, the Arabs, they going down. Sleazy eat, them, um, them doo doo eating Africans, they going down. Anybody else, you know what I'm saying, that I couldn't think of. All of them, the damn Hawaiians. Second Thessalonians chapter 1. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6, and it reads, Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Heavenly Father. So our people are too focused on what this devil got to say. If the devil say it's a bad thing, then it's a bad thing. If the devil say it's a good thing, then it's a good thing. What is the Lord saying? What is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you eagerly call God and Jesus? What are they saying, man? You see? Because we ought to obey the Most High rather than man, right? Seeing it is a righteous thing. Hell, why why does all the different nations get to rejoice over someone that messes with them? But as soon as the so-called Negro, Latino, and they don't make it any, as soon as something happens to us, they say, get over it. It was a long time ago. Get over it. Pull your boots up. We we know we created a system for you not to get ahead. We we know that. We know we put you in them poverty stricken neighborhoods so it's nothing but violence and crime and D R U G S S everywhere and damn crackheads everywhere, damn base heads, damn damn needles, damn damn thugs, damn tweakers, truckers, boppers, trucking at the red light. We know we put you in that situation. Look, look, deal with it. And we know we living in the good neighborhoods where our grass is green and ain't no trash on the ground. And you got smoothie shops everywhere. We know we, we, know we put them chicken shops and damn Popeyes and damn, damn Church's Chicken, you know what I'm saying? Lecker stores. We know we put you in them neighborhoods, you know what I'm saying? With them ragged ass houses. But you will be all right. And we know we gave ourselves them nice houses, you know what I'm saying? With the AC to just blow. Oh, cool. Cool breeze. We got our dogs, they be barking and just chilling. 
We knew we put y'all over there where the rats and the roaches at and the bed bugs and the damn dirty ass rusty water that comes out the damn sink and the toilet that barely flushes. But you'll be all right. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Tariq, your pants, tribulation to them that trouble you. I know I put you in that neighborhood where the only thing y'all do is fight and fuss all damn night, and we living over here in this quiet neighborhood. It's quiet by the time 7 30, 8 o'clock come. It's quiet as a mouse over here where we at. We can leave our doors open where we at. I know I put you in neighborhoods to where you got to have 10 locks on your door and you got to always worry about somebody trying to break in your house, coming through the back door, coming through the window. I know. And we're supposed to be fine with that. And you got nothing to tell us, why y'all complaining about this devil? Work hard, work hard, work hard, get your four or five jobs, work hard, and you can get yourself out of that neighborhood. And then you try to move to, and soon you try to move to a good neighborhood, we're going to raise the rent up to put you, to make you run your black ass back to that neighborhood. Don't worry, be happy. You got a devil ruling the earth, so you ain't gonna have nothing, and you gonna be happy. I'm gonna make sure you don't have nothing, and you gonna be happy. Sin is a righteous thing with the heavenly Father Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai to recompense, pay back tribulation to them that trouble you. The people that's putting hell on us, the Lord's like, yo, I'm gonna put hell on on them using you. I'm gonna put hell on them using you, man. You don't you don't even worry about it. Let's get this. I don't want to prove that too. Ezekiel 20, Ezekiel 25, right? I'm about to head out, get this daily bread. Has something on my mind though. Ezekiel 25. Ezekiel chapter 25. Let's see, is this it? 25 and 7, 14. Yeah. Yep. Ezekiel 25, 14. This is what helps me make it through the day, knowing that, knowing that payback is coming. Oh, bad word, bad word, bad word. Payback, payback. No, you can't have payback. You so-called blacks, you Latins, or you Native Americans, you can't have payback. No, you can't have recompense. No, only thing you can do is suffer and take it. All nations upon the face of the earth, they can, they can um, pray for the, um, to pay back their enemies. They can laugh when their enemies go. Look at what the hell Sleazy doing over there in the, in the, um, the so-called um, east, over there to the east. Look what he's doing. Look at shit. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm looking at it now. Damn Lebanon, damn, damn nuke went off. A damn nuke went off in Lebanon. And they rejoiced over it, man. Oh, the boogeyman, the boogeyman, devil, you're the boogeyman, damn devil. The boogeyman is the devil, the deceiver, sleazy E. The self-proclaimed so-called white man, he's the, he's the damn boogeyman. Destroying everything. Just, just, just creating, just creating um, fucking um, bad guys out of damn thin air. But but the men on the highways and byways reading the Bible is the worst thing. We need, we need to get rid of them. You 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 ninjas are stupid as shit. We need to get rid of the men that's out there preaching the Bible, preaching hope to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, preaching deliverance to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and captivity for the heathens that's been fucking putting hell on us and the earth and everything in it. But oh yeah, we're the, we're the bad ones though, right? The ones that, the ones out there holding Bibles and that's it and preaching. The, them the bad ones, but the people that's actually destroying shit. Oh no, no, don't say nothing about them. Don't don't say nothing about them. Come on, man. Ezekiel 25, 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom, man. So come with your unrighteous decrees. Come with your unrighteous laws. Come, come on. One day closer to you, you your red ass going down, though. You can believe that. There ain't nothing righteous about you. You can put on a suit. You can shave all the hair off your damn face. You're still the devil, according to the Bible. You're still the deceiver. You're still the wicked, according to the Bible. You see? And we're one day closer to all y'all going down. For real, for real.
And I will lay my vengeance. This is the Heavenly Father speaking. Who you equally call God, who you say was all lovey-dovey. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. The people that's actually ruling the earth right about now, starting off with the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Ivanheimers, the Sugar Growers, the ones that's sitting back causing straight up destruction, anarchy, chaos, mayhem upon the face of the earth. The Lord, like, I got something for them. Don't, ain't nobody getting away. The Lord said He would not at all acquit the wicked. You, you will have to face the judge. Give a ninja 25 years, you know what I'm saying, for, for a dime bag of, um, of, of, of some chronic. But to give it, but to give um a deleter, a serial deleter, damn, uh, damn a year probation. Get get give a Jake, you no know saying, an Israelite, twenty five years, you no know saying, for a small damn dime bag, you no know saying, of some of some ganja, you no know saying. But a serial deleter, you no know saying, a ser hey, you see what they did to Dylan White? They took his ass to the damn restaurant. I think he deleted all them Jason at church. You Israelites are stupid. They said, y'all really, and y'all, this is who y'all love, this is who y'all trust, and y'all look at us like we crazy. Hell, Dylan Ruth deleted all them Jason at church, you know what I'm saying? And they took him to damn Burger King. Oh, yeah, we know you're hungry. Come on, we're going to take you to Burger King. When have a ninja ever been taken to damn Burger King after committing a crime? He, 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 hell, he'll be lucky if he make it downtown. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people, Israel. And look, it ain't nobody stopping that right there. You ain't stopping that. You can flag videos. You can take down pages. Devil, you can do whatever you want to, but you ain't going to stop this, though. You ain't stopping nothing according to the Bible. The Lord said, I'm going to lay my vengeance upon you by the hand of my people, Israel. Let you know the Lord ain't with everybody. He's with his people. His people, Israel. You see? The, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites too. Not them phonies. Not them damn phonies, man. And they shall do and eat them according to mine anger and according to my fury. The Lord said according to my anger and according to my fury. And, I, and they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh. Just like the Lord used this devil. The Lord, you know what I'm saying? Um... Pretty much put his vengeance on this devil to come at us. And you, and you saw what happened. Check the history. Check hell. You ain't got to go back into the history. Just, just, just slavery and post-slavery. There was a vengeance of the Lord coming upon his children for being disobedient. When you got people, he ain't no God. It was. What happened during slavery? What happened out of slavery? Ninja was being punished for what we did wrong. In our former lives. And we had, to, we had to live again and to receive that judgment. But the Lord said, oh, oh don't, don't worry. These heathens ain't get, this man is not getting away with anything. No, nothing, nothing at all. And I got one more and I got the roll, man. Go get his daily bread right quick. Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. I ain't, no, ain't nobody getting around that. The Lord said, look, I'm going to lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people, Israel. Ain't nobody getting away with that, man. Ain't nobody running from that scripture. Everything has to be fulfilled. And that's nearer than what we believe, too. Jeremiah chapter 30. So go on and continue on with your unrighteous decree. And the Lord is revealing everything. Can, can, we've been mentioning that. Starting off with the elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone. Shit, they they get ready to start, you no know, saying closing down these damn projects. It's, it's, it's all good, man. It's all good. Jeremiah 30, 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Every one of them. Yeah, and I wanted to mention before I close, you know what I'm saying? Everything that's done in the dark will eventually come to the light. All you Israelites that made a covenant with this devil, he's going down. And as he go down, goes down, you go down with him, man. The Lord's going to expose everything. The Lord's going to bring out all the information. Everything you did, every paper that you signed, the Lord's going to reveal everything. If you're bent over, that's going to come out. Everything. If you sat on the couch, you know what I'm saying? Everything is going to come out, man. Because we're living in a time where everything's being revealed. Everything. The Lord said a falling away had to come first. Then that man of sin will be revealed. The son of perdition. You know what I'm saying? 
He's being revealed. The Lord revealing who we are. According to the Bible, ain't nobody stopping. And it was hid. This information was hid for a long time. They spent billions of dollars to hide this information. Read, read Psalms 83. They spent billions of dollars to hide who we were. They spent billions of dollars to hide who the true biblical Hebrew Israelites are and were, which is us. It was us the whole time. We was the people of the Bible the whole time. The Lord revealing it. So all you, all you um, two third devils that that sold out the sleazy, though hand join the hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. And when he goes down, you go down with him. And and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. Every last one of them, man, are gonna go head first into captivity, slavery. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Remember, they stole everything from us. Stole everything from us and told us that, that we'll be all right. Didn't give us nothing, man. So when we when we so-called was let so-called free, which we, was was never really happened, they didn't give us nothing. They just literally um, released us from this plantation and, and look, we we're, we're, we're nothing. We're nothing. Not no not no money. Not no damn. Well, you know the devil won't give you no money. Now you know um damn sack of damn food. Not in a sack of potatoes. We had to go out there and make a way out of no way. And as soon as the Israelites did it, what did this devil do? He got jealous because this one arrest anyway. Just making a point. Soon we know saying, uh, pull up your boots, put on your boots and strap it up, right? And make a way out of no way. We did that through the spirit of Yahweh, but she may have what this devil do. Remember um Rosewood. Remember Black Wall Street. Re remember all that. Jake made something out of nothing. And what this devil do? The devil jealous of us the whole time. This ain't our rest anyway, so it won't, you know, the little one won't last anyway. But when this devil go down, watch how the kingdom look. This get the Lord get this devil a crappy deal. Damn, a damn kingdom full of damn concrete. The Lord said, they spoil thee, you're going to spoil them. And all that prayer upon thee will I give for a prayer. Yeah, I just want to do something quick through the spirit of your house. But she might have banging out of their apartment on their whole damn kingdom just full of damn crime. Bizarro world. That's where we at right about now. Damn bizarro world. A damn, a damn system full of damn crime. A, a system full of damn liars. The damn news people ain't nothing but damn fake ass actors. Everybody get the same script, you know what I'm saying? Every news station that you watch saying the same damn thing, the same damn script. So bring your wrath, bring your anarchy, bring your chaos, because it's leading up to one day closer to you going down and the kingdom being established upon the face of the earth. Shalom.